Hello everyone. Today we will demo how to navigate PeopleSoft Finance. While in the past, navigating meant memorizing a series of folders and subfolders, we now have access to more efficient methods. After logging in, you will be brought to your My Finance homepage. This page is split into two parts, the header menu and a tile area. The header menu is comprised of a series of buttons that will appear on almost every page in PeopleSoft Finance. These buttons let a user access their functionality at any time. The bulk of the My Finance homepage is comprised of tiles. Tiles remove the need to learn a folder system as pages are organized by topics and users will only see tiles based on the security they have. Let's review each of the header menu options. The Home button, when clicked, will bring a user back to the My Finance homepage. The Spyglass button uses an index search to return pages associated with what the user types. In this example, typing Create Expense Report returns exactly what we would need, a link to the Create Modify page. Note that you can click the Home button or use the Back button located in the top left. This back button will typically show you the name of the page it will return you to. The three dots are known as the Actions icon. The first option allows you to personalize the home page. Clicking this link routes the user to a separate page where the order of the tiles may be changed simply by dragging and dropping the tile names. Don't forget to save any changes. The help link will open a new tab with answers to frequently asked questions, information on who to contact for more complicated questions, and additional resources for training. Clicking sign out when finished will log the user out of PeopleSoft Finance and help maintain system security. It is important to note that the Actions icon may have different selections based on what page you are viewing. This includes the example we see here, allowing a user to save a page as a favorite. The final header button is the nav bar. Clicking the nav bar reveals a new menu with several additional icons. Recent places will display the last several pages visited. This extends through multiple sessions even after logging out. My Favorites will display a customized list of pages that a user has saved as a favorite. Navigator displays a list of pages in which a user can access. While tiles are the most efficient way to navigate, a few pages may not be accessible. In these rare instances, a user can review the folder system to look for the required page. Approvals will open to a new screen. This page is like your work list as it displays any items requiring your approval. While there is a lot to explore on the approvals page, this topic is covered in more detail in the mobile approval training video. The tile area will vary depending on the user as the available options are security driven. Some tiles, such as the FAQ tile, will be available to all PeopleSoft Finance users, regardless of security. Note, this tile routes to the same page as the Actions icon's help link. Primarily, when clicking a tile, one of two things can happen. As is the case with the FAQ and Create Payment Request tiles, a user will be taken directly to a page dedicated to a single task. However, many other tiles will take you to something called a navigation collection. We will go over what a navigation collection is by using the travel and expenses tile as an example. When we say navigation collection, or nav collection for short, we are referencing the functionality seen on the left hand side of the screen. In this area, pages can be grouped together under a common heading or left separate. A grouping can be identified by the arrow, which allows a user to expand or collapse as necessary. You may also notice that after clicking the tile, we were brought to the ER creation page. 
This happens to correspond with the first page in the top group. This is true for all our other nav collections as well. Additionally, even when drilling down into a specific page, the nav collection will still be available. For example, if you wanted to create an expense report, you would click the Add button. Note that the nav collection is still available, but can be collapsed if you need additional workspace. If you would like to navigate to a different page, simply expand the group and click the page name. Another note is that some pages may open a new tab. In these cases, you will still be able to go back to the nav collection by clicking on the appropriate browser tab. In order to keep the nav collection as streamlined as possible, not every page available for a topic is included. Users looking for a different page can click the nav bar to pull up the navigator. While the ER creation page is available in this collection, let's look at a different way to navigate to the same page. With the navigator menu open, you can make the following selections to pull up the ER create modify page. Main menu, employee self-service, travel and expenses, expense reports, create modify. It took five clicks to open the same page we were able to get to by just using one click on the tile. As the navigator requires more training on where things are located, as well as requiring more clicks, we encourage users to utilize the tiles found on the home page and explore the navigation collections for common pages. However, if this happened to be a page that you used often but wasn't included in a nav collection, you can click the Actions icon to save the page to either your favorites or directly onto the My Finance homepage. This concludes our basic navigation training. If you have any trouble with the features discussed in this video, please access the FAQ tile for additional training resources.